Hola mis amigos, we're making spaghetti squash with meat sauce. There are quite a few methods to cook your spaghetti squash. One way that you can do it is by cutting it in half and placing it in the oven at 350 degrees for about 45 minutes until it's done. Another way is to boil it and the other way, which I am going to do today, is to cook it in the microwave because, of course, it is the fastest. So here I have my spaghetti squash. I'm going to start by poking some holes all around it so that it can breathe in the microwave. And next, what I'm going to do is place the entire squash in a pie plate that has some water in it. Of course, you want to make sure you're using a microwave safe dish. And I'm just going to drop this into the microwave for about 15 minutes. It does depend on the weight of your squash, how long you put it in there, but just take a look at it at about 10 minutes and you'll be able to determine if you need to cook it longer. Basically, you are cooking it until the outside is nice and soft and then you will be ready to proceed. So I will see you then. Okay, we are back and the skin to my squash is nice and mushy. It can be easily pressed in, so that's a good indication that we are ready to go. If you do have some sides of your squash that is still a little bit hard, then you just want to rotate the squash and microwave it for a few more minutes. I would say about five minutes at a time until it is all nice and and mushy. So what we're going to do now is just let this cool for a couple minutes and then we will cut right into it. Okay, so things have cooled down a bit, so we are ready to cut right into this. So the first thing I'm going to do is cut off the ends. Most people cut their spaghetti squash lengthwise. However, what that will do is that is going to create small strands of the spaghetti squash as opposed to the longer strands that better resemble spaghetti. So what we are going to do is we're going to cut it widthwise by cutting off little sections of the squash. And as we can see here, the way the squash grows, it grows around. So everything is gonna be nice and long when we flake this. If we cut it in half, what we'll be doing is we'll be cutting the strands of the spaghetti squash, making them smaller. So what we're going to do is, we can just take a fork and flake this, or we just want to peel off the skin and very carefully, we will see that we have our nice, much longer strands of spaghetti squash. Of course, as we get further into the squash, you will have to avoid the middle because that's where the seeds are and the meat is right here on the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut all of this into rings and then I will remove the centers and go ahead and use a fork to pull out my strands of spaghetti. It's very easy. You shouldn't have to struggle too much to get your strands out. And then what I will do is I am going to serve this with my red wine meat sauce. Unfortunately, I decided at the last minute to film this video so that I can show you how I make my spaghetti squash. So I have already prepared my meat sauce, so I will show you how to make that another time. All right, so I have finished flaking my squash. So my squash was about two pounds or so. So this gives you an idea of how much that makes. I would say this is close to about a full box of spaghetti. So if you need to make more than a box of spaghetti, you might want to go for two squashes. Spaghetti squash, of course, is a healthier option. It is very low in calories and it is a gluten-free way to enjoy a pasta. And this is all coming from someone who absolutely does not like squash. But this is totally an exception for me. It has a nice and sweet smell and it sort of gives off this smell of butter. So it is perfect as a substitute to pasta. Spaghetti squash with meat sauce. Enjoy and I'll see you at the dinner table.